All right. Uh, let's see. Let's go to Peter with uh, with some quick tips. He will start us off. He says, um, I just noticed a new quick tip. If you press the shift key while on the Apple menu and you can toggle it with shift, force quit becomes force quit the currently focused app. After noticing after noticing this, he says, I've already used it. And as, as soon as we got the question in and I, you know, had prepped it for the show, I've started using it too. It like, it's a great way of, uh, of, uh, it, you know, of just managing that process. I don't know. I, I, it's, it's the little things, right? It's how it goes. It's certainly easier than the command control is a command. No, I don't even know. No command option. Escape. Command option escape. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, you could you could add shift to that and it would force quit the current in front app. So yeah, it's it's command option escape. Yes. Yeah. I'm not gonna try it right now. No, see. No, it's fine. It, it, it gives <laughs> you a little menu. It okay. gives you a menu of all running apps and then you can select them. Well, no, 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 no. But that's what we're saying is if you add shift to that. You'll see in the menu, John, the dot, dot, dot after force quit goes uh, away. So I yeah. think if I added shift to command option escape, then we would no longer be talking because the frontmost yeah. app is the one handling this connection, right. which is, I, I like this. 